Hey, hey, hey. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a very interesting topic that's not really talked about, which is managing stress and, of course, avoiding burnout in the workplace. So I know majority of people sometimes work from home, why some other people work in the office, you know, or sometimes like hybrid, just working in between. But don't worry, I've got you covered with some very fun, practical tips that will help you stay chilled, even when the pressure is on. <laughs> so stay with me if this is kind of content that you are looking out for. Anyway, before we dive into the solutions, let's just talk about what stress and burnout actually are. Um, I would say that stress is just that feeling when you have like so many deadlines just looming in front of you or if you have like your inbox almost exploding with emails from <laughs> every department or even from both internal and external stakeholders and if your to-do list just keeps going on and on and on, you know, just endless. So your body's natural response to pressure that stress now so some people would respond differently some people would perhaps be rude and other times it might just be that you're almost like losing your sense of being anyway guys so i would like to talk about burnout so it's just like what happens when stress ticks around for too long so i would say that just you being stressed is like the first stage but then burnout simply means that it's an advanced stage, like it's gone on for too long. You're feeling exhausted. You're feeling like demotivated. You know, you just don't really care about work anymore. You don't really care about anything happening, right? So it's not just about being tired. Like it's when you are fully drained, you're fully drained mentally. And of course, sometimes it might be emotional drain. Now this can play out in various scenarios, right? So it's like your brain is just like, okay, can we not do something else or can we not just focus on something else? So you're at that stage whereby you feel like, no, like this is all, this is, this is all, this is enough, you know, here I'm going to sign out. So it might be interesting for you to just really know that signs that you are headed towards burnout, right? So the question to ask yourself is that now, how do you know if you're headed toward burnout, right? It could be that you're constantly exhausted, you know, even having like almost eight hours of sleep, but you still feel so, so exhausted. You are definitely on the road to being burnt out. So it might be that you even dread starting like a work day. It might not just be Monday, it might be even Friday. Like you feel like, oh no, Friday again, right? Even every single morning when you begin to feel like so groggy and you really don't want to wake up to work. So another point is that you might be super irritable. So even when someone just calls you to just perhaps to ask or check up on you, like you just feel like, why are you talking to me? Another aspect of a sign that would tell that you are being burnt out is that you can't seem to concentrate. Like your mind keeps wandering all around the corner, right? You, you, you are processing other things except focusing on work on itself that's a sign to tell you that you are burnt out another sign is that your productivity has taken a nosedive and it feels like even small tasks are huge mountains to climb so guys let me know like <laughs> is this happening to you guys sometimes or it's just like just me rambling about so just let me know in the comment section anyway so if this sounds familiar it's time to hit the brakes and of course take care of your mental health right so i'm just going to make some recommendations like for tips to manage stress like a pro so i would say that take micro breaks if you've watched like my previous videos you see like how i find it so difficult to take breaks but even if it's just 10 minutes of break it will really go a very long way even if it's just take that 10 minutes of break just around your room or around the office or even just five minutes of you looking just not directly at your system and just looking somewhere else it would really go a long way so guys these little breaks it helps reset your brain and give you the boost you need to power through the rest of your tax 
So like I mentioned earlier, another idea that you could use to just slow down a bit would be that you should get moving. So therefore, like for instance, there are like companies that they have like elevated chairs, like whereby you can just adjust the the height of the chair or you could just just move around your working space you know it's so important for you to move right so you just ensure that you have that time to move around your working area i know that everyone says exercise is the answer to everything but it really does help you know even just a short walk during lunch can reduce your stress can reduce your stress and also boost your mood Another bonus point will be that if you can get outside and get some fresh air, it's like it's it's awesome. I remember one time, like, because most of the time, sometimes when I try to get to the office, I'm just this person, like, I just want to get on to work, you know, and keep cracking on. But most times when I decide to go on a walk with my colleagues or just go out for fresh air, like, I feel so rejuvenated and refreshed. So, guys, if, for instance, if your workday ends at 5 p.m., I think that you should stop working at least be prior to 5 p.m., like a couple of minutes. So you get that time to put your thoughts together, you know, put all of your, all the things you need to take back home and just prepare to go home. I know that this is easier said than done, but once you're able to stick to a routine, you know, it can just help you prevent yourself from being stressed and burnt out. Now, let's go to the fun part, which is fun ways to distress at work. <laughs> okay, guys, now for the fun part. Like, how do you distress in the middle of your work day? Because, let's be real, sometimes you just need a quick fix. So, guys, let me know what's your quick fix. I think my quick fix could be that just zoning out. <laughs> you know, just zoning out for a while. For a couple of minutes, it really helps me, right? I think most researchers will say that there's this particular breathing technique, that's 478, whereby you inhale for four seconds, you hold for seven, and then you exhale for eight, right? So you can just try that now and see if it really helps or if it works for you. So another recommendation would be Dex Yoga. So that's like you stretching right at your decks, you know, ne- doing like neck rolls and circular movement, you know, and and also like shoulder shrugs just to release tension and then to get your blood flowing. Like I said earlier, on, you still need to walk, you know, just ensure that you move around rather than sitting all day. Like humans, we are not built to sit for eight hours or nine hours or even some people that go almost 10 hour shift. We are not built that way. So we need to move around another recommendation would be that having a stress toy at your desk right so whether it's a stress ball a fidget spinner or any squishy toys you know just something to fiddle with something to fidget you know it can just help you release like nervous energy and of course like keep you focused anyway so those are like short-term strategies that you can use to prevent like stress and burnout right but I want us to also consider like long-term strategies to prevent burnout, right? So now managing stress in the moment is quite important. But how about preventing burnout? Remember earlier when I was talking about burnout being like the advanced level of stress? <laughs> but how are we able to prevent this in the long term? Uh, my recommendations would be that first of all, you need a to-do list. So usually I would say, okay, this is most important. This is relevant this can be done later or this can be looked at at a later time so it all depends on what works for you so i would say that if you are creating a to-do list don't just overwhelm yourself you know just start your day by trying to write maybe three to five tasks it could just be even just one task which you have to break down i know that's also a, another master class on its own you know the art of breaking down things into the smallest peace right so for instance if you're able to write down those three or five tasks you want to accomplish you don't need to overload yourself with a million things you just have 24 hours in a day and if you if you exclude sleep time if you if you exclude eat time you know before you know 24 hours is just finished you know just three to five tasks it's all right you know keep it manageable and you feel more in control guys 
Another recommendation would be that you need to find like a support system. So usually in workplaces, you see that some kind of people, they are so jovial, they're so friendly. You can easily see from their energy, they are very bubbly. So you could have those kind of people as your support system. You know, you can just go onto them and have like a chat, you know, just to catch up so whether it's co-workers whether it's friends or mentor like having people that you can talk to about work stress you know it can help you feel like less alone and of course they might also have some tips that they are practicing that are really helping them overcome work stress right so guys i'm almost wrapping up but i'm just going to say that or to reemphasize that mental health is of priority you know at the end of the day like the most important thing is to make your mental health like a priority. If you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling tired, you know, always seek help. Always ask for help if you're not able to handle everything that's been thrown at you. And also make out time to recharge. Guys, burnout is real. Being super stressed is also real, but it's also preventable. And also make out to do, make out time like to do things that you really love, things that make you like really, really happy. So guys, those are my top tips for managing stress and avoiding burnout at work. Let me know in the comment section, like what helps you distress. And if you did find this video helpful, don't forget to give a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.